we are at White Church Cemetery in Glen Rose, Texas. And this is, it appears to be the church has been abandoned and it's no longer open. But, and the cemetery is supposedly haunted. But we are going in. And as you can see, it is, it's an old timey church. And it has been abandoned. Supposedly this is haunted. That's what the locals say. All this is haunted. I don't know if it is or isn't. But you can tell nobody's been in here for quite a while. The stage is coming up. It's rotting. Wow, this is just amazing. It just looks like a one-room church. I think this just leads out to an old porch. But this is an abandoned church. And supposedly, like I said, haunted. All right, and as you can see, like the floor is falling apart in this abandoned, supposedly haunted church. And one whole side of it, see there's my wife sitting there, is actually leaning like the whole side is breaking. And you can just feel it's colder in the church than it is outside by far. It, it, it feels weird in here. It feels, does it feel dark in here to you? Like not like just dark, like it's not well lit in here, but just like something dark. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel right. The air feels heavier to me. Does it feel heavier in here to you? Yeah, it sure does. It's, it's an ominous feeling. I can understand why people say it's haunted. And the whole place you can, it's only open uh, from sunup to sundown. They don't want anybody here it's after that. Long. Enter the cemetery. Supposedly, like I said, the locals say it's haunted. We'd rather be here at night, but we can't come here at night. But it was established, White Church Cemetery established in 1879. All right, and there's this building here, which I'm not quite sure. But it, it's it's weird looking in here, and it's just a stone building with a with a broken up rock in it. So I don't know what that is. But we have some old graves here, some very old graves. Um, I see some from the early 30s, and earlier than that. I think the oldest graves are going to be over here. So we're going to go look at those too. This is a grave from 1911. Look at these graves. They're actually the some of them are in pretty bad repair and some are pretty new. I don't know if this is family maintained. You see it's old rusted fence. The fence is very, very old, obviously. Locals claim this place is haunted, like I said. Um, nobody's allowed here after dark. I don't know how you'd find it after dark. I mean, this place is really hard to, 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 to get to find because it's off of so many old roads. But some of these graves are very, very old. 1908 this one says 1854 i think i can't tell when he died he was born in 1854 but i can see why people might say it's haunted the whole place just has a weird feel to it. it it feels like it's hard to breathe out here you just feel like something on you 1926 1895 this grave is from 1895 I mean, I'm walking around here, and I just feel like the air is heavy. Not as bad as in the church, but the air feels so heavy. This engraved my wife just pull, pointed out. We believe this was a pregnant woman. It gives the age of the woman, but then adds in four months and 14 days. So we think that's how long she was, how far along she was in her pregnancy. It's very smooth. You got a hand point down in a rose. Unfortunately, the grave is in bad repair. I mean, she... She died quite a while long ago. It looks like in the 30, no, in the 1800s maybe. Yes, the 1800s. And if you look at it, there's seashells on there. The detail is amazing. But it's almost like a crib-like structure, the way it's been put in. And the woman must have been very small. It is just, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. And over here appears to be maybe... The mom or dad or maybe it's her husband i don't know it's her or her brother her brother yeah, he guys we are still at white church cemetery and this is unique at least to me it's an above ground grave it looks like you could actually slide this aside if you were want to do that i would never be disrespectful like that it looks like someone's done it before and broke it there's actually a couple like that and then in the distance is a grave all by itself fenced off so we're gonna go look at that
All right, here's this grape by itself. There's no way in unless you hop this, and I'm not disrespectful enough to do that. Um, and it's a very old grave. I can't see all of it from where it is, but it looks like someone who passed in 1887. And I'm not sure how well you can see that. And uh, they were born in 1844. This is such an old graveyard, and I do understand why they say it's haunted. Okay, we came across some pretty old gravestones. This one had actually toppled, and it probably weighs three, 400 pounds, but luckily, I trained for strong man. I was strong enough to pick this up and put it back on. This person passed in 1884. This person passed in the early 1900s. The whole fence is falling apart, busted, but we had to fix that gravestone. My wife, my wife is always the, the one that thinks of kind things, and she's like, we got to. I'm glad we did. I mean, I'll be at the brief for a while, but I'm glad we did. See, the fence is completely falling apart. We're going to fix that for him. Um, and this gravestone from the late 1800s. The place is falling apart a little bit. Parts is taken care of well and parts of it not. But uh, I guess I'm kind of glad we won't be here late at night. This place definitely has a haunted feel to it.